what is going on YouTube welcome back to the Portuguese RTG um, I'm gonna go over the weekly tactics for foot champs for the World Cup or the World Cup mode or whatever it's called I believe this week is the last week like for team of the weeks and then afterwards I think there's like I don't know if they're gonna change rep picks I'm not sure um, I don't know how that's gonna go but yeah uh, let's get straight into the tactics so a uh, few things have changed little little things not too much there is a post patch uh, or there is a patch that just came out with pressing so uh, whenever they're constant pressing you they should get drained a little bit faster so um, I didn't do any pressing tactics on any of mine except for constant pressure but I will go over like little things that you can change just in case so uh, to start off the game I start off with the defensive tactics 4-4-2 uh, I like the second variation with the CDMs. Then the attacking formation, uh, 3 5 2, which is way better than the 5 2 1 2. I'll make a separate video going over why this is better than the 5 2 1 2, but don't listen to them. 5 2 1 2 is not as good as 3 5 2. It is superior, trust me. And then uh, defensive, ultra defensive to hold off the win, like if you're winning, which is a 5 1 2 2. And then the comeback tactic, like all out, like, um, like this is my Hail Mary, like my last opportunity for triple two. Uh, so let's get into it. So I usually start off the game with the 4-4-2. Uh, so this is this variation, the 4-4-2. This is how I line up. Well, right now I'm playing to, uh, basically I'm doing like a little first owner thing on the side just to try out tactics to make it harder on myself to make sure the tactics work. So I have like random players like uh, just playing. I'll show you at the at the end. But yeah, 4-4-2 is my main formation. That's what I start off with. So defense style balanced with 35 depth 69 nothing has really changed there but the play balance chance creation balance I haven't really changed that you can change it into uh, direct passing if you would like especially if you're on new gen I will go to direct passing but if you're on old gen I'll just stick to balance because you're pressing so high up by yourself like auto pressing with the 69 debt that you can kind of control the tempo of the game of however you want to do it with 55 players in the box six and corners and free kicks one and one uh, Instructions, nothing on the goalie. I never do anything on the goalie. Both center fa center backs, nothing on them. Stay back while attacking. On the right back, stay back while attacking. And the left back, stay back while attacking. Uh, I would not put overlap on this just because you're already attacking with your right mid and your left mid. Um, if you really need to make them go up, then you could trigger them yourself. Now, there's one thing that you can go ahead and change. You can change the conservative interceptions since you are pressing a little bit higher. Um, that way they won't press by themselves. You manually have to press by your, with your player, if that makes sense. That way they won't auto press because sometimes they can do the little one twos uh, with their right back and left back or right back and and right mid for example and they'll just chip you over so you can change that but it's up to you it depends you know how good you are at defending I don't have to tell you just trust your gut uh, your left CDM the more defensive for me is cut passing lanes stay back while attacking cover center the right CDM which is my box to box will be cut passing lanes balance attack and cover center uh, so he'll be going on to the attack so you'll be attacking with like a like a two mid two or like a right mid left mid uh, a center mid that almost acts like a cam and then two strikers uh, your right mid is come back on defense and get it to the box for cross same thing on the left mid come back on defense get it into the box for cross you could change it to cut inside on chance creation uh, so you can do the Travella shot but I don't really mess with that I do it every now and then but I don't like to abuse mechanics so I just leave it like that um, but if you like to abuse mechanics by all means it's perfect for the Travella shot your right striker for me whoever you're more uh, agile striker is put them on just stay central and mix attack that's it and whoever your faster striker is put them on stay central and get in behind because uh, the right whoever for for you for me the right striker the more agile well, he comes in to midfield and pick up the balls with the when he does one twos with the center mid um, and then we can send the left striker on for a run for me is Holland because you know he's a tank so gets the job done uh, so let's switch over to 3-5-2 so this is if the 4-4-2 isn't really working uh, I can't really score he's a little bit better than me uh, he's having more possession than me and I just need to get into the game I need to score a quick goal or something I'll go I'll switch into the 3-5-2 because it is one of the best if not the most best attacking attacking formation in the whole game so it's just like a like a 4-4-2 because I love the 4-4-2 and it's like a 4-2-3-1 because I love the 4-2-3-1. It's like if they had a baby together, and then this popped out, if that makes sense. So it has an extra cam, basically. So if you look at it, it's like a 4-4-2 right here. So 4-4-2, and then one extra cam. So what more do you need, you know? And then, like, 4-2-3-1, it has the cam, and when one striker is just one extra striker. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's get into it. Tactics. 
uh, defensive style balance with 35 depth 55 not too high not too low if you feel like it's too high for you uh, like some people that I know they'll drop it to 45 the people that I've already sent this to uh, if they feel like it's a little bit too high up a little bit too in their face then they'll drop it to 45 but for me 55 is fine I like to press a little bit by myself uh, build the play is balanced direct pa uh, chance creation direct passing with 45 players in the box five corners two on this one one more just because I need to score and then free kicks one um, instructions nothing on the goalie again nothing on the center back stay back while attacking left CDM same thing capacity lane stay back while attacking cover center right CDM stay back uh, capacity lane stay back while attacking cover center if you need to make this a little bit more attacking you can switch this one to balance attack but for me I already have the cam doing the work so I'm good if I really need to make him go up then I'll just manually drive manually pull him up so you know how good you are if you can you're really good at defending then you can put this one on balance attack um, Right mid is going to be our comeback on def come back on defense, get him behind, and get into the box for cross. Same thing for the left mid. Come back on defense, get him, get him behind, get into the box for cross. Now, because they did the patch where your stamina is getting drained more, I realize that the right mid and the left mid, they're getting more tired. So if you don't have any super subs that can replace them, just switch the interceptions into conservative. That's really it, and you'll conserve some of your stamina uh, because it won't auto press by itself. It won't try to auto defend. You just have to go out of your way and manually defend with them, which is okay. Uh, so if you want to conserve stamina, conservative. If you have super subs and you don't care, then normal, normal interceptions. Uh, Cam, stay forward, and I also put it into the box for cross this week because uh, he's acting like my third striker, so he's getting in uh, for those uh, cutbacks, basically. If I'm honest with you, your right striker is going to be stay central. I took off the comeback on defense. I don't want him to defend. I just want this to be a full out attacking formation. This is what I want to use when I want to attack. So I don't want him to defend anymore. I just want to leave that little, this little triangle of death up here, if that makes sense, you know? Um, so leave him on stay central and then left striker stay central getting behind. Same thing, more fast or the fastest striker that you got on the left and the more agile on the right, if that makes sense. Or... For you, if you have Mbappe and he's a right, right-footed, right then you can put him on the right. Whatever. You know what I mean. All right. Next one. Um, if you want to close out a game, if you're already winning, I don't know, you're winning 2-0, it's like minute 60, and you just want to close out the game because he's starting to press you already because they will start pressing you, you're going to switch to the 5-1, 2, two. So this formation uh, with the CDM, with the 5 back, yeah, it's a little ratty. Yep, but it's defensive and it gets the job done. And you need that if you want to win for foot champs, if you want to get the World Cup picks, and all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to get the best rewards. So, uh, defensive stop balance with 35, depth 45, build the play balance, chance creation, direct passing. Because you still need to attack a little bit, like on a counter attack. With 55 players in the box, five corners and free kicks, one and one. And then, yep, we got a, we got a special guest in the house. Um, instructions, chill, dude. Uh, Goalie is going to be balanced, nothing on the goalie, nothing on, on the three center backs. And then your left back is going to be stay back while attacking, conservative and overlap. Same thing on the right back, Conser right wing back, stay back while attacking, conservative, overlap. Um, same thing, what I explained earlier. You don't want them to attack, you want them to defend, this is your defensive formation. If you do need, to, need them to go up, then just trigger them by yourself with the L1 trigger, and they'll go up by themselves, or you can do little one twos. Conservative, because I don't want them to move out of their out of their position. Most most of the time when they're trying to attack you, like, when they're pressing, they're going to be pressing you with like a 4 one, two, one, two, narrow, or like a 4 triple two. So you need them to be marking any runs on the wings because they will do that trust me and then overlap because whenever they're running up then you know they spread out the field which is really really good because that's what you need also one thing i forgot to mention on the on the 352 to make it really really attacking and to make them very vulnerable please turn on the d-pad tactics hug the sideline because it spreads them out so it spreads their their defense out so your right back is going to be all the way to the wing left back is going to be all the way to the wing and then you literally got your little triangle that's going to be attacking their two center backs so it's perfect for goals um and then cdm is going to be stay back while attacking cover center you don't need capacity lanes you don't need them to move out of the way you get to manually control them uh, right center mid, your more attacking center mid is going to be balanced attack, get into the box for cross, cover center, and free roam. Free roam because he's going to be like a number 10, so he's going to fill any spaces that he needs to fill. 
uh, your left mid or your left center mid is going to be stay back while attacking cover center. That is it because he needs to just cover that space. Um, he just needs to be really, really defensive. That's literally it. So this one will convert almost like a cam, like a 5 2 1 2, if that makes sense. Uh, your right striker is going to be stay central, makes attack. That's it. And your left striker is going to be stay central, getting behind. Same exact thing as early as what I had mentioned. And then now, if you're losing minute 70, minute 65, and you need to, you need to get back into the game, you need to score a goal. You need to score two goals. You need to tie up immediately. The formation is going to be four triple two. That's your go-to formation. That's probably one of the best attacking formations. It's not that good to defend, but it's very good to attack. So let's get into it. Uh, tactics are going to be constant press, uh, width 55, depth 72. Balance. I don't put a hundred, by the way, on depth because you still want to be able to defend. Because if you lose the ball and you're attacking, they're gonna they're gonna counterattack you. So. You need to at least have some type of defensive support. So this is just that auto offside trap, which helps out a lot. Build the play balance, chance creation, forward runs. I don't put fast build up on here because I want to control the play. I still want to get the ball to their feet because if you play the game, you see how passing sucks in this game. Passing is trash. So you need to be able to control the play because it's hard to do a little tiki taka passes on here. So you just kind of have to control it. With 55, players in the box, 7. Corners and free kicks four and four. Instructions: nothing on the goalie, uh, nothing on the center backs. Right back stay back while attacking. Left back is gonna be balanced because you want him to attack through the left side, and your right back is gonna stay back and make like a three in the back. Now your left CDM is gonna be cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center because it's gonna kind of cover for the left back going up, and then your right center mid is going to be cut passing lanes get forward and cover center because he's going to go on that side so you kind of leave only one center mid in the mid and this one goes up like almost like a cam and then this guy goes like an extra winger if that makes sense uh your left cam is going to be uh just get into the box for cross that's it same thing on the right cam get into the box for cross right striker is going to be stay central that's it left striker is going to be stay central getting behind that is it that'll work wonders for you that's going to do the job trust me Follow these tactics. These tactics got me to rank two last week. Could have probably got rank one, but I lost because stupid stupidity. You know this game. This game is like so scripted sometimes. But yeah, trust me. This will get you rank one if you follow the instructions. If you're good enough. If you practice these formations, they're really good. You don't need anything super fancy. You don't need press up the possession laws. You don't need all that stuff. You just need to get better at the game. Get better at the basics, and you'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend league. And this is a team that I was rocking. Uh, I've been playing on Division 1, I think, with this. Or I don't want to get into the Elite Division. I don't have time. And I, I'm not. It's going to be too hard to complete objectives if I play in the Elite Division. These people are crazy. These people have, know every single trick in the game. So once I'm about to get to the Elite Division, I just go ahead and start losing. I'm not trying to get there. No. It's not that serious. I'm not. No. I'm not about to play 100, 200 games a week. No. Just to get a few wins. Nah. No, thank you. So yeah, these are I'm just playing with these. This guy's actually really good. This little Asian dude on the right, uh, Lee Dong Jun, that dude's pretty good. And then this guy Gyasi, he's pretty good too. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying these out, just playing just for fun. And then the bench, obviously. These are basically my untradeables, like people that I have not bought that I just packed luckily. Um, so yeah, I just been playing with them just for fun. It makes trying out tactics so much harder because I don't even have a five star weak foot anywhere except for that that little Asian dude and I have no five star skillers and I love skilling like doing reverse elasticos and elasticos and scoop turns so yeah it sucks except for Kaka that's the only one because I kind of need one but it makes it a little bit more tough but then I get to appreciate the tactics more because I know that they're simplified and that they work so they'll work for you guys you see what I mean all right if these helped you out if you guys stay to the end please subscribe if you guys want me to continue doing this for as long as I possibly can please subscribe it'll help me out tremendously and go ahead and that like as well if you know anybody that needs help send them this video help them out help me out you know what I mean and in return you know what's gonna happen Portugal's gonna win the World Cup I just want you to know that so if you see this and if you waited to the end just right on there it's coming to Lisbon because it is I'm telling you right now I'm calling it I'm calling it and if Portugal wins I'll shave my whole beard. That's between us if you guys heard that. All right. Talk to you guys later. Peace.